Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Diana. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. I'm just finishing my my dinner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, enjoy it. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Can anybody hear me? Yeah. Good evening, teacher. <clears throat> yes, good evening. Good evening. Hey, you're back, Diana. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yesterday I, I was a little bit sick. Oh, I'm um, sorry about that. Yeah, but today I'm, I'm ready. Almost ready because I'm finished my I finishing my dinner, but almost ready. <laughs> okay, bon appetit. Thank you. I'm having some technical problems with my camera, but I will do my best to, to fix it, okay? Okay. Thank you for your comprehension. You're welcome. Okay, so Carla, Blanca, Jessica, Merlin, and Anne Elizabeth, good evening. How are you Hello. feeling today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Is it raining in in the places where you live? Uh, actually, no. No. no? no I I was afraid of uh, not making it on time today because I was. Uh, uh, dinner and, uh, in a restaurant and it started raining but heavily and um, and the streets were flooded so I had to find a way to avoid the, the flooding and find the best the best uh, route to get home so I just came like 15 minutes ago I think Oh it was God. it was mi almost mission impossible <laughs> but you did it yeah thank god god knows that i have to give the class <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah otherwise my students will kill me <laughs> okay just I a little just a little Today, at my home, all the day was raining. Really? Wow. Yeah, but I stopped at like at 7 o'clock p.m. So it's nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, Suleima, Juan Jose, Ana Mariela, good evening. Okay, let me check. I think good evening. my camera works now. Uh, not so clearly, but something's better than nothing. Okay, I got it now. Perfect. Okay. Mission accomplished. Um, so, uh, 
we're going to get started. And the question about, well, the question for today, as we have been talking about food all these days, is what if you had the opportunity to choose one meal, okay, and you're going to have that meal uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for one week, what meal would you choose? Pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Blanca and Diana say pupusas. Uh, anybody else in the pupusas team? No. Pupusas too. Yes, pupusas. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I guess I, I guess it makes sense. Uh, yeah, pupusas is a, is a is a meal that you you would have at any time. Yes. Always pupusas. Always was us. Okay. Um, I don't know, but I think I have a different opinion. Um, I would probably say hens soup. Hen soup. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, sopa in India. Yeah, that would be my, my number one. In the mornings? Yeah, why not? It's hot. <laughs> yeah, I can I can I could have it one week for one week. <laughs> Oh my god but okay the thing the thing with with the soups it's like you you are full in the moment but later you get hungry you, yeah mm -hmm, that's right yeah but there is sweet bread and coffee so that's a compliment if you're hungry <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah okay but yeah pupusa steam wins anybody else who has a different opinion No. Uh, good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Uh, for me, I like the pupusas. It's my favorite food. But I like the tamales de lote. Ah, okay. Got it. That's a good, uh, that's a good option, too. Because you can yes, combine with, it, you can combine it with other um, with chocolate. Uh huh. Exactly. Then we're going to move on <laughs> with chocolate. That's right. Uh, so that would be the the food that you would have at any time, right? That's correct. Now we're going to get started, and uh, I see the majority of you are already here. Uh, I am going to call out your names, right? To check who's here right now. Just say here or uh, present, right? Uh, don't forget to have your microphone ready to turn it on and also uh, your camera, right? Except if you have connection problems or uh, I don't know, you're driving probably. So that would be understandable. Now, um, or you don't have, or I mean, your camera is not working like it happened to me at the beginning of the session, right? I'm going to call out the first person in the list, that is Ana Beatriz. She's not here yet. Um, Ana Elizabeth. Hi, teacher. I'm here. So I am working right now, <laughs> but I am here. Okay. Thank you, Ana. Ana Mariela. I am here. I have problem with my camera. Uh, okay, okay. So if possible, try to fix it. If not, uh, we know that that's the reason. Thank you, Ana Mariela. Brenda, Erlinda? I'm here. Okay, thank you, Brenda. Um, Carla, Yanet? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm here. Good evening. Diana, Yesenia? Here. Okay, Flor Idalma. I'm here, teacher. Francisco Amadeo. Present. Glenda Laura. Not here yet. Uh, Harvey Isaac. I'm here, teacher. I'm sorry. Who's that? Who's speaking? Who's speaking? Who said I'm sorry? Glenda said, I'm sorry. Oh, Glenda. Okay, perfect. Thank you. 
I have to identify I mean, all your voices now, okay? That's a new challenge for me. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Harvin? And hip teacher. Okay. Jennifer? Not here yet. Jennifer Lopez. Uh, Juan Jose? I am here. Maritza? Karen? I'm here, but I'm driving. I will turn okay, off okay. my camera. Drive safely, drive safely, please. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't want anything to happen to my scene. So let's see, Maritza is not here at the moment. Uh, Merlin? Merlin, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm working right now. <laughs> okay, working. got it. Then the next one is uh, Miguel Angel. Not here right now. So we'll continue with the next person that is Rolando. Orlando, not here yet. Uh, Ruth? I'm here. Thank you, Suleyma. I'm here, teacher. And Jessica? I'm here, teacher. Jackie? I'm here, teacher. Blanca? I'm here. Freddy's. Here. And Julia is not here. Okay, so we're going to move on. And as I told you, uh, yesterday we are going to finish with the presentations. Hey, Ana Beatriz, welcome. Uh, okay, so uh, everybody's ready with having, I mean, everybody had dinner, everybody's concentrated with some energy left from the day. <laughs> yes. Okay. So hopefully we're going to make it right. So let's get started. As you remember, we had some um, presentations yesterday. So some people were talking about the um, solutions, right? The solutions for the procedure uh, problems that some restaurants usually have. Okay, so the discussion yesterday was about that. We learned some new vocabulary. Do you remember the five words that we, that you investigated in the dictionaries? Yes, no. Payment. Payment, handle, greeting. That's correct, greeting. Another one? Notify, notify. Notify, yes. Uh, we're missing just one. Confirm. Confirm, that's correct. Um, I am going to ask you a definition and about the words. And you will tell me if it's true or false, okay? So handle is to control or to be in charge or have the capacity to uh, deal with something. True or false? True. True. True, true. okay. <laughs> Confirm is to deny something or not to be able to do something. True. Confirm. False. 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 What is the definition False. for for confirm? In your own words, you don't have to look for a definition on the dictionary, right? To make sure an arrangement or meeting will happen often by phone or in writing. Okay, that's that can be a good definition, right? To make sure, right? To confirm. Um, payment. Payment is the money that people get 
after they have offered a service or a product? True. True, okay, that's a payment. Greeting, greeting is when you ask uh, someone for, for personal information. False. 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 What's the greeting? To say hi. To say hi or to say goodbye, okay, those are greetings. Yeah, usually Something when we see friendly someone. or polite. Uh-huh, that's right. Correct. And the number five is notify. Notify is to call someone to get some information. Notify. True. Call someone to get some information. False. False. What is the true definition for notify? For example, when you are getting a message in your phone, you get a notification. So it's the action of notify you. Okay, very good. When you tell me, teacher, I'm driving to, to, to my house, right? Uh, so I cannot connect the camera in this moment. You are notifying me that yeah. you are in that situation. Okay. To let someone know, right? Let someone know about something. Uh, usually something important, right? Like a permission or a problem, notify. Um, okay, perfect. The, the other uh, topic or the other uh, activity that we were doing was to talk about the procedures and to talk about the responsibilities that people have at restaurants. We focus on the waiter or the waitress, right? Um, do you remember what steps a waiter follows uh, to take and to serve another? You can say them in any order. I mean, not a specific order. What steps does a waiter follow? Greeting. Greet the customers. Uh huh. What else? Other functions. See the customers. Re customer. Receive them or seat them. Uh huh. Correct. Take the order. Take, Take the, the order. order. Confirm. Confirm, Confirm, the, order. Order. Confirm the order. order. Uh huh. Handle the food correctly. Handle the food correctly and serve the food. the food. Serve the food. Are there any other functions that a waiter normally does at a restaurant that are not in the list? Uh -huh. To charge the money, right? Or to, to pick up the, 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 the bill with the, or to give the bill to the, to the customers. Uh -huh. Tomar la propina. To take the tip, that's correct. Who cleans the tables? Usually, Usually the, the waiter, waiter, right? Usually the waiter. <laughs> Who picks the dishes when the people leave? I was, I was saying, I was saying, clean the table, and I the put my off. microphone off. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Who picks up the dishes from the table when the customers finish eating? Some restaurants that have a special person doing in the this majority activity. of the restaurants? The majority of the restaurant, the waiters do that the activity. Waiter. So now that we think about it, you can uh, make an analysis, right? Like, wow, the waiters do a lot of different things. So, and they have to be patient and nice, right? Um, so for that reason, I think that we should appreciate these kind of workers because they do something that requires a lot of effort, a lot of uh, sacrifice, I would say, and usually it's not paid appropriately, right? Or accordingly to the, um, to the functions they, they do. So um, somewhere I read that one way that you can tell if someone is a good or, or bad person is by the way they treat the waiters or the waitresses. Um, so just a little comment, right? For us to think next time that we see a waiter, we think about all these responsibilities they have so we can be nicer, right, to them and if possible, give them a tip, right? Because they are doing a lot of work um, to assist the customer, right? Yeah. Um, now, we're going to move on, okay? Now that we leave the little reflection moment, 
Uh, we are missing some groups, okay? Yesterday we listened to the groups number one, two, three, I think. I'm not sure if the group number four, uh, uh, Ana Mariela, Jennifer, and Ruth shared the information about the solutions to improve the customer's experience. Did you do it, uh, Ruth, Jennifer, or Ana Mariela? Do you remember? I'm not sure. Yeah. Yes, yeah, okay. So we are missing the groups number five, six, and seven, right? Number five was composed by Ana Beatriz, Flor Idalma, and Glenda Laura. Who is going to share with us? Hey, Rolando, welcome. Why so quiet? Thank you, thank you. Okay, Glenda, are you going to share uh, from your group? Yes, and okay. we think that uh, the issue more common in this case is the way it is not polite. That's the most common issue in your opinion, right? The waiters yes, are not polite, okay. Are not polite, yes. And we think that um, the best pressure may be training and customer service to the, to the waiter and incentive to, uh, to benefit or your payment mm -hmm. that um, increment of the salary. To increase the salary. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Increase the salary, yes. Maybe the Maybe the, to the uh, they are <laughs> uh -huh. because I'm Maybe sorry. the waiters are, are are not happy because they don't make enough money. Okay, got yes, it. Yes, maybe. Maybe they have um que no están satisfechos. They are not satisfied. They are not satisfied. They are not satisfied. Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Glenda. Very good. That was that was a good <laughs> solution. You. That was a really good solution, right? Give them training and pay them more. Okay, I agree with that. Uh, group number six, we had Karen, uh, Maritza, and Merlin. Who can share from the from that group? I think that for Karen, it will be a little bit difficult to share because she's um, she's driving. So Maritza is not here, I think. Oh, Karen, you're home? Yes, I'm, a, oh, I'm already at home, at home. I'm not sure if you're home because the background, right, is one of the of the, the, the ones that, <laughs> that you can see in, in Zoom. But um, OK, so you're home. Excellent. Do you remember uh, this possible solution? Yes, we were talking about um, um, sometimes uh, people do, do not nice. The waiters are not nice. They're not have a good service because uh, they are not feeling motivated uh -huh. or engagement. Uh -huh. So maybe if we can make a contest for employee of the month, mm. they can get motivated and, and try, to, bonus. <laughs> try to make an effort to be better and nice with the customers. With the customers. Okay, that's a good proposal. Okay, the employee of the month. Yeah. Yes. I, now that I remember, uh, I have seen some restaurants um, that, or in some businesses, right? That that strategy, okay? So yeah. it's an incentive, okay? So giving incentives to customers, well, not to customers, to employees is always a good option. Yes. Another solution can be uh, give them some trainings, some special trainings in customer service. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you don't go to school, right, to learn how to be a waiter. So it should be really good that the restaurants uh, give training to their their waiters and waitresses. Exactly. Um, it should be mandatory, actually. Yeah. Okay, so the last one is room number seven, Anna Elizabeth, Jacqueline, and Harvey. Who will be a volunteer from that group? Good 
remember every every moment you have in the class to share your opinion it's good for you because you can practice um, and be exposed to using the language right okay teacher hello good evening. okay go ahead harvin good evening we were talking about some issues for example when you receive your when you have to, to wait the food for example, one solution is the waiter have to take the time that the dish maybe can, can be ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is one option. And for, and for example, we were talking about another common issues. It's not in the list, but it's happening when, for example, when it's on a special day and the restaurant is full, for uh, you are eating, and the waiter is close to you, and maybe you almost finish the, the to eat, and they want to clean the, the table because we need to seat another customer. Yeah. And yeah, okay. one solution for that, uh -huh. and one solution for that is have to good training how they how they can act when mm -hmm. in, in in this case. Okay. Awesome. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Harvin and um, and Karen as well. So we have all the participations right from every group. Thank you a lot for sharing that. Uh, we're going to move on. As you know, every lesson is something new. But I like to uh, remember what we started in the previous session, right? So that we uh, confirm, okay, that that knowledge is, is has been acquired, right? Uh, that everything is clear. And in case somebody was not able to listen that part of the class or was not able to be in the class, you can have an idea about what we're doing. Now, uh, we're going to move on with the next part, okay? Here we're going to have, uh, uh, let me check. I will share the screen with you. Here we go. So something that, okay, there was a strange sound outside the house. Um, something that we're going to see today are some new words as you will see right now. Uh, so from the very beginning, you can identify there is a, there is a new word. Which word is it? Cowing food. Cowing food. Does anybody know the meaning of of cowing or thaw? The verb. Would you put the the meal on the freezer? On the what? Freezer? On the freezer? Uh, yes. Mm. Or when the food are cool? When the food is frozen. Is cooked. Yes, yes, it's frozen. So you, okay, so, so the food is warm. frozen and you cook it, right? So it's to change the, how can I tell you? The, the state, state, the state, state, right? From solid or frozen to liquid or soft mm -hmm. or yeah. soft. Very good. Defrost. Tawin, tawin is like to, to when descongelar. Exactly, right. exactly. It's the same as defrost. <laughs> defrost, that's correct. Frost. <laughs> okay, frozen, the movie, no, no. okay. So, yeah. uh, defrost <laughs> or throwing defrost. food. Okay, pronunciation, so, right? Sowing so, food. Sowing food. Sowing so, so, food. Sowing so, food. Sowing so, food. So, we so, we food. Right at the beginning. Sowing so, food. Sowing so, food. Uh huh. Sowing so, so, food. Sowing so, food. So, right? Sowing so, food. And then hand washing. Hand washing. Hand washing. Hand washing. Very good. Sanitizing. 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 Right. Sanitizing. Very Sanitizing. Good. Food storage. 
food food storage food storage food storage, food storage. Food storage. Okay. Food storage. purchase 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 okay okay i am going to share with you okay. one link okay so you can see the difference on this word um Purchase. I'm going to share the link in a moment. In the meantime, we're going to continue with the next one. Tasting method. Tasting method. Tasting method. Okay, so. Method. Method. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is to match the procedures to their descriptions. So you are going to work in purse, so please take a screenshot. In first, you are going to discuss and you're going to solve this uh, exercise. But the purpose is not only that you match the words to the description, but I want you to also practice reading out loud. Because as you know, that's one of the best strategies to improve your pronunciation and at the same time your fluency, right? So I want you to solve the exercise and once you finish, you start practicing, uh, as we have six words, you can read three and three, right? The word and the definition, so you can read to your partner, okay? If you can make a correction, that's okay, right? So it's like Pablito, I think the pronunciation is not finger nails, I think it's finger nails, okay? So you can help each other, right? Because we know that there are some things that we don't know. So. It is, we have to be open to receive corrections or recommendations or feedback from our classmates. So please take a screenshot. I will send you to the breakout rooms. You are going to work in first, complete the exercise and read the definitions with the words out loud. Okay, leer en voz alta. That's what you're going to do when you, fin when you complete the exercise. Any questions? No questions. Okay, perfect. So how much time do we have for this teacher? Okay, good question, Emilio. So that's my imaginary friend, okay? My assistant in class. Uh, when students don't ask me something or when I need a volunteer and nobody wants to volunteer, I ask Emilio, right? That's my middle name, by the way. <laughs> so um, you're going to, yeah, that happens after more than 10 years teaching. You go, you create things. Um, we invent people. So you will have exactly four minutes, okay, to complete the exercise and read the definitions out loud. For example, let's suppose that I complete one and I say, okay, this word, the definition is wash your hands and forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails, dry. Okay, uh, ready? I think that the word, the pronunciation is not under, it's under, and it's not your, it's your, your fingernail, and dry, okay, with a little bit more like sophisticated sound, right? Dry. It's not dry, no, it's dry. Ah, dry. okay, got it. So that's what you're going to do, right? You're going to practice together and help each other, help each other. Ready, set, and go. I'll send you, I open the rooms for everybody and you can enter the, the breakout rooms right now. Okay, let me check. six. Perfect. Now we have just Anne Elizabeth, Brenda, Merlin, Suleima, and Jessica. Please accept the invitation to go to the breakout rooms. Anne Elizabeth, Merlin, Suleima. Jessica and Merlin.
Jessica, did you receive the invitation to join the breakout room? Yes, no. Okay, wait a second. I'm going to move Jennifer to the breakout room number four. Okay, the first one, wash your hands and forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails, right? It's the process of hand washing, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Take a sample. Okay, you, if you want, read the second, second one. Take a sample of the yeah. food you want to take on a spoon. Put the sample on the second spoon away from the cooking area and taste the product. It's a purchase. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, number three. How how can I tell purch, purchase? Purch? In number three. Remember. Okay, number three. Put only from nice. Um, and can you see me? Yes, uh, now yes. And now. A big, big, because I I can turn my my the, the camera because. My internet is very bad. <laughs> so mm. if I put the, the camera, uh, I will lose the signal. Okay. Your yeah. audio doesn't work properly when you have the camera on, right? Mm -hmm. That happens. Okay, if you want girls, we can start completing. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna share the screen? I, I will do it. Thank okay, you. perfect, Jennifer. Were you sending me a message, Jennifer? Yeah. Okay. I sent you a message because there was There was a... no one, okay. Yeah, there was no one. Okay. question, right? The second one, take a sample of the food you want to taste on a, a spoon. Put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area and test what they if take, take a sample. Put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area and taste the product. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I think so too. Okay, so we we think that sewing food is uh, to let frozen food become warmer until is it ready to cook. Yeah. Okay. The second, if you want. Yeah, it is that right? No, wash your hands and forms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sanitizing. Equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected after each dish is prepared. Okay. Prepared. Uh -huh. prepared. Yeah. Food storage is um, employees who receive and storage food organize items in the correct place to avoid bacteria. Okay. Purchase. From years in in the United States. It's, it's a long time to start in the United States. When you say to 
Uh, 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 I lost the, 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 the word. Teacher. Hello, what is the word? Could you help, could you help me, please? Uh -huh. What is the word? You want me to share the screen? Permanecer en el lugar. The stay in the place. Stay in the place. Uh -huh. Or remain. Remain would be the best one. Or the best remain. one. Remain. Uh -huh. Remain okay. is in the place. Okay. What do you mean? Um, we talk about the... was asking where they are learning English. Yes. Ah, where you learn English? Okay. Mm -hmm. I was okay. telling him that I learned it in the USA. Okay, got it. For a long time. Long time ago. Okay. Or, yeah, so I had to refresh my mind. Cool. Perfect. So you're done with the exercise and the practice. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So the time is up right now. I'm just going to give around 30 seconds to the rest of your classmates to join the main session. Okay. Okay. I always remember that I have to turn on the microphone after coming back from the breakout rooms. So let's see, we have 21 participants right now. Uh, probably somebody's still in the breakout rooms. Let me check it out. Mm, apparently, no, everybody's back. Okay, so um, did everybody finish the exercise? Please use a reaction to tell me that you finished. If you didn't finish, you can use a reaction like, um, I don't know, the open mouth, like, no, I didn't finish it. Okay, so yeah, everybody, good. Um, now we're going to check, right? I'm going to ask one definition per student. So the first volunteer is Rolando. Thank you so much. I know that Rolando wants to participate. Diana, definition number two. Number three, let me check who raised the hand. Glenda, number three, number four. Number four, Ana Beatriz. Number five, Jacqueline. Number six, Jennifer. Okay, perfect. So we got them all. Thank you. Don't forget the number because I will forget it. Okay. So the first definition is uh, thanks to Rolando. Um, what is the definition of food storage? Um. Employees who, re who receive and storage food organize item, organize item in the correct place to avoid bacteria. To avoid bacteria. Okay, so employees yeah. receive and storage food, organize storage. items in the correct in the place correct to avoid place. bacteria. Food mm -hmm. storage. Do you agree with Rolando? Yes, no? Yeah, and I agree. Yes, okay, the answer is yes, yes. so. <laughs> <laughs> She's the next one, okay. Which, which yeah, now word? the what is the definition for tasting method? Tasting method: take a sample of the food you want to taste on a spoon, put the sample on a second spoon away from the cooking area, and taste the product. Okay, wow. do you agree with that wow. one? Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. That's correct. Yeah, with that bird agree, uh, it's an exception to the rule, right? So uh, normally we use the bird to be, right? And say, um, I don't know, I am or something like that, right? We use auxiliaries, but with the bird agree, it's alone. So it's incorrect to say uh, like, I am agree or I am not agree. So we only say, I agree, or any subject, right? I, you, he, she agrees, uh, or we agree. In the negative, you have two options. You can say, I don't he said agree. We. I don't agree. Like you can use the negative, do not, right? Or um, in another tense, I won't agree, or I didn't agree, or we use disagree as Anna said, it, right? So those are the two options for the negative, the, the auxiliary in the negative 
plus agree or disagree. It's one of the few exceptions, okay, that we normally don't use the verb to be as an auxiliary, okay? Uh, I tell you this as a, as a parenthesis because even teachers, even some teachers, I heard that they forget about the rule, right? And they can say, I am, agree. So it's normal that we forget when we don't practice a lot. Um, so who's next? Ana Beatriz, right? Yes. Okay. Ana Beatriz, can I call you just Beatriz? Yes. Okay, it's shorter for me, so I can easily remember. Okay, Beatriz, and then we have Ana Elizabeth and Ana Mariela. So we probably I can call Mariela, right? Um, and we get rid of the Ana, Ana, Ana uh, confusion, <laughs> confusion. Yeah. So uh, Beatriz, what is the definition for hand washing? Wash your hands and forearms with soap. Use a brush to clean under your fingernails dry. Okay, soap, right? Soap. Uh, right, soap. Soap. And then soap. brush, brush. That's correct. So do you agree with that definition? Uh, who's the next volunteer? I think it was Glenda, right? Yes. So that's correct. Now, let's go with the next definition. Thank you so much. The word is sanitizing. The word that in Spanish didn't exist, but because of the pandemic, people say sanitizar. Uh, <laughs> it didn't exist, but now people use it in Spanish. So, what is that? Mm -hmm. The definition is equipment. Equipment, equipment? is washed. Equipment is washed. Rinse and disinfected after each dish is prepared. Is prepared. That's correct. So the equipment is washed, rinsed, and disinfected after each dish is prepared. Okay, that sounds like a tongue twister. Okay. If you're not Thank accustomed you. to tongue twisters, I am going to give you some one of these days. Okay, so that you exercise your tongue. Your tongue. Now the next one. Uh, who's the next definition? Who's gonna give the next definition? I think it was Jennifer. Maybe no. Hey, teacher. Jacqueline. Jacqueline and Jennifer. Okay. Jackie, what is the definition of purchase? Purchase. Yeah. Um, that it is uh, buy packaged food only from licensed suppliers. Suppliers. Okay. Air supply. Okay. So that's correct. Yeah. I recommend your supplies. Really good music. Okay. Then we have continued with uh, Jennifer. Lopez. The Live last one. in Vegas. Okay. Yeah, the last the one. Let frozen food become warmer until it's ready to cook. Until it's ready to cook. So um yeah, it's like you were saying, right? Defrost. So it's not that you're going to cook it and to to throw it, right? It's that you're going to put it in boiled water or just in um uh, Leave it outside the, the, the freezer uh, or leave it in normal temperature water, let's say, until it's ready to be cooked. Okay, excellent. So that's correct. A round of applause for all the volunteers, please. I'm going to use the ta-da in this case. Okay, let's move on. Uh, any questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation? Maybe, no, say yes, no, or let's move on, teacher. Okay, How go ahead. can I say teacher? Mm -hmm. How can How you say can teacher? How can I say the, no, 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 the letter C. Letter C. Oh, sanitizing in Spanish. Okay, sanitizing, right? Yeah, San sanitizing, that's correct. In Spanish, the normal would be desinfectar, right? But then people say, ah, sanitizing, sanitizar. So now it's sanitizar, sanitizante, they invented these words in Spanish. Okay. <laughs> um, so yes, that's correct, sanitizing. It's not, <laughs> well, that's another joke that has, that's not so funny. Uh, but some people are not careful when they are writing and they change the order of the letters and then they say satanize, right? So it's not good. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, we're going to, in Spanish, right? They do that. 
continue with uh okay it looks like the hangman with those hyphens in the middle so i'm going to eliminate them right now okay in purse in purse you are going to choose two of the procedures you follow every day at your workplace and create a mini poster to present both procedures to the class. Okay, I know that uh, making a poster, it takes a lot of paper and this and the other. So on a page, right on a page, you are going to uh, discuss, right? Discuss with your partner about a procedure, right? About a procedure that you follow every day. And you're going to represent it with symbols, with drawings, with a map, with arrows, with circles, rectangles, whatever, okay? So what is the two, right? Two of the procedures that you follow every day. So like if you're making a map, I do this and then I do this. So like that. Uh, so you can work together in, uh, in person, but if you want, you can have your own poster, right? Like your own image and you will share it on the, on the screen uh, when we come back to the session. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms in person one more time with the same people that you, the same person that you were practicing. And that's what you're going to do. Okay. So you're going to create the little image, right? You're going to use your artistic skills. Um, and then you will share with us uh, about two pro procedures that you follow every day at your workplace. For example, in my case, uh, well, I'm not that good at drawing either. I used to be, but not anymore. Um, one procedure that I always have to follow at my workplace and it's mandatory for me uh, is to get to my, the office, turn on the computer, open my email, the platform that we use with students and start working on the things that I have to do uh, that day, the classes and et cetera. That's one procedure that I have to follow every day, nonstop. And the other procedure uh, that is when I have to teach is that I have to enter the room uh, at least 10 minutes before the students, clean all the areas, just in, in case they were used before, for me, uh, put all my things apart, then um, wait for the students at the door and with the distance, right? Start giving them out, uh, hand sanitizer uh, and assign them a specific seat with distance from each other. I have to do that every class I teach in person, in person, okay? So those are two procedures that I follow every day or almost every day at my workplace. So that's what you're going to do. Uh, in case that you're doing home office, think about something that you have to do at home, right? In case that right now you're on vacation, you're not working or let's suppose that you're just uh, at home Two processes that or two procedures that you usually do or in your daily routine. So that's what you're going to do right now. And for that, I am going to give you exactly five minutes. Okay. After we finish with that, maximum five minutes. If you finish before, let me know. Okay. So maximum five minutes, and then uh, discuss, share with your partner. And we're going to come back, and I'm going to ask some of you. Okay, some of you to share with us. Not everybody because of time. Um, and I'm going to take the attendance. So um, let me check breakout rooms, beginning in three, two, one, go. Okay, on the sign, wait a second. Ana Mariela, I'm going to assign you to the group Number 11, Merlin. Group number nine, Jessica. Room number four. Wait a second, I'm going to call to move Ana Mariela to the room number 
Okay, uh, who's missing, who's missing? Brenda, Floor, Jessica, Anna, and Merlin, did you receive the invitation to join the breakout room? Yes, no? Yes, no, teacher. teacher. Yes, okay, who's missing? Me. Who's me? <laughs> Floor. Floor, okay, Floor, let me check. I. I think I was in the in the night. I think. Ah, okay, perfect. Let me check because there are some people who just reconnected. They had some internet connection problems. So, Floor, I will move you to room number seven with Carla. Merlin, are you there? Hello, yes. Carla. Yes, got the invitation? Here. Okay, perfect. So Merlin, I'm going to send you to the group number seven as well. Diana, Karen, Orlando. Okay, Merlin, do you receive the invitation? I guess yes. Okay, perfect. You no, know what what happened? But I lost my connection. But I try to to back as soon as possible. Okay, but did you did you hear the instructions that the teacher say? No, not complete. I I lost my connection. Teacher. Oh, okay. Can you okay. help? Ah, the teacher is here. I'm here. Yes, I knew that you were going to need my help. I have this <laughs> sixth sense. So uh, yeah, you're going to create a mini poster in one page of your notebook, right? On a, on a page that you have uh, about two procedures that you have to follow uh, in your workplace, okay? Two things that you need to do every day, right? Regular at your workplace. And you present it with a, a little image. For example, have a meeting every day. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. So you can draw a, a a group of people right sitting around a table, for example, or someone in front and the other one sitting. Yeah, like stick people, right? Uh, figura de o persona de palitos. <laughs> that can be okay. your okay. drawing. Okay, good. And then you share that with uh, Floor. Okay. Great. And vice versa, Thank right? You. Vice versa. You're welcome. Of course. No, this is my first time with Insta for Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so how is the conversation going? <laughs> really, really good and interesting. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah, he was, she was telling me that there are, they are one, there is one person here in the class that is like uh, her boss. <laughs> and I was telling her that I have two co-workers still here. <laughs> oh, Annalisa okay. and Merlin, they are my co-workers. Well, okay. Annalisa is like, a, like a, my second boss. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. It's a call like, center, right? Yes. She is a senior coach. Ah. Yes, she is a senior coach, and I am a coach. Okay. I'm Marilyn, a coach too. <laughs> Interesting. Really Girls yeah. power. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So and right now you're going to share two procedures, right? One uh, that is uh, like I mean, two procedures that you do every day. Uh, so, for example, if you have meetings, right, mm -hmm. that's something that you do every day. So you're going to represent that with a little image, with a little drawing. Okay, maybe you can do some stick people, like with hombre o persona de palito, right, uh, together. So that's that's the what you do every day. So that's what you're going to do mm -hmm. right now. You have three more minutes, or well, two more minutes to go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh -huh. 
We, we're <laughs> talking about our procedures, teacher. Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so then I have to log in, in the virtual office. Oh, yeah, the virtual desk, sorry. Uh, and I have to check my mail. And that's the first one. And the second, the second one is I have to log in at the HubSpot is a CRM. And I have to check all the campaigns we have active. And, and I have to review all the data we got uh, for those campaigns we, we have running. And I have to do a inventory all of the new of the new clients we got oh that sounds really really interesting a lot of work yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> there is we we have we are Compared we are working work. with four brands so i have to do this with the four with the four brands. Wow. That, mm -hmm. That's interesting. Well, and... Okay. Try to represent that with a, with an image, okay? With a, with a little poster. With an image. We have to do two posters. If you have different processes, yeah. Yeah, because... Well, it's something simple, not like a masterpiece. Like oh, Picasso okay. style. No, I mean, just to show in a graphic way what you do. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Maybe a little computer. Uh, and then, I don't know, uh, the internet or a brand. And you can write down Nike, Adidas, right? So, so it's just to represent what you did. Oh my God, uh -huh. yeah. Many people with sickness, with COVID. So really? trying, to, trying to fix the, the people in, in one side to other side. To can to can make the operation stable. To be able to be able to make the operation stable. Yes. Okay. Last, Got it. Last year in my work because I'm in human resources. Oh, okay. Are you a psychologist? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a business administrator. administrator. Uh huh. Okay, I got mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it's usually a psychologist or someone in business administration. That's right. Yes. Okay. people think that I'm a psychologist, but I'm not. Yeah, you look like <laughs> if you analyze people. Okay. <laughs> Be careful, Harvin. So yes, uh, yes. we're going to go back to the main session. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to go back in a couple of seconds. Let me just check one more group and we're done. Cool. Hello, guys. Did you finish? Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah, I think. <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, so, sir. So. Right now, I draw the one, one procedure, procedure. Procedure. Okay. Procedures. So, you drew, you drew one procedure. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So, that's yeah. what you're going to share with us. I'll try. I'll try. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Thank Remember, you. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece, just a little representation. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Wait a second. Okay, perfect. Now you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. no? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay, perfect. So uh, what we're going to do right now uh, is to share, okay, to share that information that you were uh, discussing. But as it is difficult to listen to everybody one by one, we're going to finish probably one hour doing that. I'm going to create breakout rooms with more people so that you can share in the small groups, okay? But before that, I'm going to take the attendance to check who's here and who's not. Okay, uh, I'll start from Beatriz. Yes. Elizabeth. Anna. Mariela. I'm here. 
Okay, Brenda. I'm here. Brenda or Linda, which one do you prefer? Brenda. Brenda, okay, Carla. Yeah, thank you. I'm here. You prefer Carla or Jeanette? Carla. Carla, okay. Yes. Diana? Present. Or Yesenia? No, Diana, Diana. please. Okay, Diane, please. Okay, got it. Um, Lady D, check. please. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. I, I, I think they were going to rebuild a monument uh, in front of the castle in England for Lady D, a, a statue, something like that. I think I saw that in the news. That would be nice. Hopefully it's similar yeah, to her. Anna. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we'll see Diana in England. Now we're going to continue with Floor. I'm here. Floor or Idalma? Um, no, Floor. Floor, okay. Or Idalma or Floridana, yes. Floridalma together. Okay, perfect. Uh, Francisco? Amadeo. Present teacher, sorry. Okay. You're, sorry, sorry. you're okay with Present. Francisco. Francisco, uh, whatever. Whatever. No problem. I the first or second, no problem. It's okay. Okay, so first or middle name, that's okay. Uh, Glenda. Glenda. Hi, teacher. Laura? I'm okay. here. I'm here. So, Glenda or Laura, what do you what do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? I prefer Laura. Laura. Okay, so that's yes. new for me. Okay, I'm going to try to remember. <laughs> okay, Laura. <laughs> I confused with Brenda. <laughs> you what? Ah, you get confused with Brenda. Okay, got it. So Laura. Uh, Harvin. Yes, Present. Or Isaac. I prefer Harvin. Harvin, okay. Yeah, it's not common. It sounds sounds interesting. Uh, Jennifer? <laughs> Jennifer? Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer or Gisela? Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah. Or J-Lo? No. I don't like it because <laughs> everyone everywhere call me in that way and I don't like it. Yeah, I imagine. I have a friend whose name is uh, Jennifer Lopez too, and uh, but she likes J Lo because she loves singing. So she's like, "Yeah, call me J Lo." Okay. So Jennifer, <laughs> then we have Juan Jose. Hi, hey. I suppose that in your case, you are accustomed to the two names, right, Juan Jose? Yes, Juan Jose. Okay. Juan Jose. Yeah, I imagine that. Uh, Karen? Hi, Karen. Karen, okay. <laughs> uh, well, Maritza is not here today. Uh, Merlin? Merlin? No. Okay, let's continue with Rolando or Antonio. Rolando? Hello? We lost him. Uh, Ruth? I'm here. Or Sarai? What do you prefer? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult decision. Okay. Guys, yeah, whatever, Ruth. Ruth. Okay, got it. It's, it's faster, right, to remember. Uh, Suleyma? I'm here, teacher. Okay, so Suleyma or Lisette? I forgot Suleyma. to ask. Yeah, I forgot to ask this. I usually ask people at the beginning, right? Like, what do you prefer, right? So I can call you the name that you like the most. Okay. Yes, I prefer Suleyma. Okay, got it. Jessica? I'm here. Jessica or Janari? Janari. Janari, okay. Excellent. Yeah. Let me. It's not common. Janari. Janari. Yes, really, that's Janari. her. her name. 
Okay. <laughs> Rolando appeared. But not January, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I, I, Jacqueline, what do you prefer, I, Rolando? Sorry. I prefer Rolando. I don't Rolando. like Tony. I don't like Tony. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jacqueline Xiomara? Toñito. <laughs> Only Jackie. Present. Jackie, okay. Blanca Stephanie? Hi, present. Blanca or Stephanie? Hi. Mm, whatever. Whatever. Uh, for me, I, I like the two names. Okay, got it. Freddy's, Vladimir? Here. You prefer Freddy's, I, I suppose. Yeah. Yes, yeah, okay, value. perfect. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah, in my case, my middle name is Emilio, but the majority of people know me as Freddy. Um, only some people call me Emilio and some people call me with both names. Okay, where so... Where I, where I live is mixed. Some mixed. some people call me Freddy and some people call me Vladimir. Okay, okay, yeah. So guys, right now, Francisco. I have a question, Francisco. Question, tell me. Uh, what do you know how, what? Uh, why do you know how the, your number in the, the screen. My name. Yes, in the oh, screen say it, less corporativo. Yeah, just in case somebody else uh, uses the name, uh, I mean, uses the account. So when they enter the account, they are going to see Freddy Emilia, right? So it's not, or Freddy Marcus, but so just in case somebody else is using the account, they, they don't have any problem. They have the less corporativo there. So that's the reason why. Okay, okay. Only, only us. Yeah, right. okay. So guys, uh, well, my name is English, okay. Yeah, let me check. My name is teacher, right? So uh, I'm going to, okay, seven rooms. So it's going to be, I usually, I, well, I normally prefer Freddie because it's shorter. Emilio is longer. And as I'm an English teacher, Freddie sounds like English. So I, it's more connected to what I do, okay. Uh, uh -huh, so that's, that's, that's why I got used to that. Now I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Uh, you're going to share your, your procedures, right? If you have the picture, your drawing, your masterpiece, you can show it. If not, you explain it. So every person is going to have a maximum of one minute to speak, okay? So one person in the group can be taking the time, okay? So as we have four people in every group, there are some groups with three members, but the majority have four. Uh, we're going to give you maximum four minutes since the moment that you enter the breakout room. Okay, ready, set, and go. Accept the invitation, please. Okay, Anna Elizabeth and Merlin, floor. Do you receive the invitation to join the groups? Yes, no. Let me check room number five. Yeah. And Selena, I want to move you to the room number. Six. Four it will be in the room number three.
Okay. Okay. What about you, Harbin? Okay, for example, I, I yes, I have a, a daily routine. And when I arrive to my job, I have to turn on my computer and check my email. And, and I have to, after that, I have to make a word list and give a priority what I gonna to do during the day. This is the, the thing that I have every single day. Okay. What about you, Anna Beatriz? Well, always when I'm going to to get at work, and the first things that all the employees that had to do that that must be that must do is um, clean the shoes in the carpet. After that, take the temperature, and after that, take uh hand sanitizers if you want to visit another department into the workplace you have to do the same thing oh. yeah i'm tired about that <laughs> yeah. you're tired of that my hands are a destroyer <laughs> oh your skin right it's dry yes mm -hmm. yes, I, yes. Bet. I have to use many yeah, many hand times cream. every day. No, in hand cream because our, uh, I don't know, like reseca. I don't know how to say. That would be like, I don't know, over dried, probably. Uh -huh. over, <laughs> over dried, <laughs> yeah, over dried. Uh -huh. Stuff in my desk, under my desk, <laughs> to. Okay. To, to start to work, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I think that That's... open your email or other apps to can to work. No, my email, my email, it's always open, but mm -hmm. yeah, I, I I when I go to to Chrome and when I open that window, the the email yeah the it's already open. Okay. And that's what I do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't do too much in the morning. Yes. I think that. Oh. Do you use a uh, Outlook or? Gmail or wherever app for to, for you. Gmail. Gmail. Simple. Simple explanation from my procedures. Thank oh. you, Rolando. Okay. Wow, that's a nice drawing. <laughs> a quickly, a quickly draw. Uh, yeah, that's a draft, right? A, a draft. little sketch. Uh huh. Yeah. A little sketch. Yeah. Very good. Okay. No, I don't know if, if, if Linda, would you like to, to, to talk about your procedures? Procedures? Yes. About yeah. procedures. I have right. many procedures in my, in my job. In my case, I am accounting assistant. And ah. I payment to suppliers. And I do payment to suppliers. Mm. And my procedures are the first time receive the invoice and then I check the details and the amounts um, to the invoice. Then I schedule or program the payment, but electronic samples. Well, if I, I uh, if if I have uh, um, uh, some activities uh, about, I don't know. Um, financial uh, or a general administrative, for example, um, mm -hmm. I I can I or 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 for example, uh, purchase about mm -hmm. purchase. purchase. Uh, I review all all process about the different purchase. Uh, because it's a uh, public. Uh, 
And as well, we talk about uh, what are going to be the goals that we are, we are going to have in the week and every day, something like that. That's you work in home office or in uh, or or two or my city in the site. I work in the site, inside. Yes, they want to uh watch my my <laughs> your drawing. Yeah, I would, I, I would like, I would like to, I would I like to see it. Computer. Yes, I would like to watch the first, poster. <laughs> the first example is about um is for my let me how I can uh, <laughs> the first example is me in the computer every day. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the ages. <laughs> I, I think she's more like a Da Vinci, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the meeting that we have every day with the co-workers. Is, is that <laughs> coffee on the see. table? Yes, it's coffee. <laughs> okay, good. So that's a good meeting. <laughs> yes, it's a good meeting. Uh, that meeting takes around an hour <laughs> every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So it's just one more minute, guys. Well, girls, I think it's just girls right here. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you can uh, finish with your presentations or uh, even uh, express some ideas, right, about your classmates' uh, procedures. Okay, perfect. I'll see you in a moment. Thank you have you. one minute, right? So when you finish, you can go back Thank to the you. session. Better. Wow. Yes. yes, yes, it's better. And how 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 does she know? How did she know? Uh, her boss, her doctor, was with with a test, and he he was positive. And after she had to do the test, and uh, she was positive. And she was positive. Well, but sorry. That's difficult, but yes, it's complicated. Yeah, just because we when we know was during the quarantine. Really? Yes. Three three weeks. Yes. In a room. And we are waiting for for the because the employees for hospital that are taken and go to the hotel. What happened with Brenda? She's very happy. She's always happy. That's ah. true. Knowing you, you also will be laughing. That's true, <laughs> Brenda. Your girls are happy. I think that she has to share that that that, that what she's uh, watching or listening to. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brenda, tell the truth. Okay. Well, like the, thing, the last minute we were okay, having, right? Okay. So I was going to tell him one minute and then you take everybody to the main room. Ah, so you didn't read the message on time. Okay, so who was missing? I want to know in your group. You were uh, with Diana, Jennifer, and Jessica. So Jennifer, you're going to be the first volunteer to share with us. Lucky you. Sorry. I don't want to, but I'll do it. <laughs> okay, that's the attitude. That is a punishment or a prize? <laughs> no, it's an opportunity. Good question. Okay, I saw a lot of Picassos and Da Vinci's during the presentation, so. Wow, this is a very technological. Okay, procedures to follow every day. Good, well, Jennifer, go ahead. That's amazing. In the first, in the first group, I were with Jessica, and I don't remember 
who else? Uh -huh. Who else? Yeah. But they. <laughs> Me. Yeah, Anna. One Anna. <laughs> but oh, we don't work in the same way because I work from home and they work in the company. So I try to to save the same procedures that we have in common. For example, turn on the computer, the most important thing. And then it's usually to check the email or um, after that answer the most important email or and then follow the email that requires some information and answer that email and solve any problems that okay. we have in each area. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Really good job. So this was amazing, guys. And uh, to be honest with you, I was uh, taking some screenshots, right, in, the, in every group, just to have a little memory, right, of uh, what was going on. And just for your information, right, just to have an, a clue, I'm going to go back to this part. So as you can see here, uh, that's what you were doing right now. Uh, first of all, you had to discuss, right? Think about your procedures. Then you got in groups and you and you share your poster. Um, so the self-assessment is I can name a variety of procedures going on in different areas of a restaurant. Of course, we talked about it yesterday and uh, we confirmed that today. So what's next? Pictures. So that was the first one. I didn't see. Uh, I didn't see. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, procedure in every picture, but you were discussing, right? You were discussing. So this one was great, right? So that was a little uh, sketch uh, or draft, as Rolanda was explaining. Um, that was me. I don't know. Wait, yeah, that was the second one. And then uh, this was another one. I don't remember who was sharing this one. Uh, I think it was Brenda. Uh huh. So you see a lot of tools, right, to express <laughs> the process. That was really good. It was not you, Diana. Okay. Then uh, we were serious, and then we were laughing. Okay. Uh, with the computers, the coffee, right, the table, and everything. So that was really, really nice. And well, that was it. So please use a reaction to express how much you like that activity that we just finished. Use a reaction that represents how much you like the activity. It was good, not bad, teacher. Yeah, it was funny. You can use the, the emoji, right? Like really fun, really happy. And then the hearts. Okay, a lot of people are using the hearts and the tadas. So excellent. I'm glad to know that. And we're going to move on to the next step. So you're going to discuss um, what steps do, do you follow in your everyday work? So you already shared some information about that. Uh, what happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Hmm, that's something complicated to talk about. So you are going to, uh, well, you already discussed the two steps that you usually follow, right? So we can skip the question number one because this is a general, okay? What are all the steps that you follow in your everyday work? But let's focus on the number two. What happens when, when an employee doesn't follow procedures? What happens? Okay, so express your opinion quickly. Uh, this is going to be just in purse. Uh, let me check the time. Yeah, 9.39, so we have time. So, uh, I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms because they were too big. The groups were a little bit bigger. So three people, ready, set, go. What happens when people don't follow their procedures? What can be the results of that? Okay, you can speak about your job or in general, your opinion about the topic. Okay, so please accept the invitation to join the breakout room. Excellent.
Okay, Jessica, Merlin, uh, and Annalise. Did you get the invitation? One, two, one, two, three. Yes. Okay, I'm going here. It might what happened? It's about our, or, or, or for example, in a, uh, when I talking about restaurant, or is our procedure? What in happened? my case, in my, in, uh, what happened? Hannah, sorry. In my, yeah, in in my case, uh, if I jump a uh, procedure, um, we lost information that we going to use in the future. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you if you don't do if you don't follow one of the procedures. Yeah. If you because skip, because I, yeah. Okay. Because I have, to, I have to save all the information for, of our client. Mm, no, or a customer, and I have to to create archive, archive. I don't know if, if I have to say that. If I can say that. Archives or files, files of every customer, and if I skip one of the steps, uh, maybe that will. Um, I don't know. Affect. That will affect in the future. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That will affect in the future when we when we. Um, have to say okay. the WhatsApp to send or to check some message about mm -hmm. homework. Okay. And well, in my case. Okay. And what about you? Um, in my case, uh, every day uh, when I go to my to my area, um the field field to clean the desk and turn on my computer but if uh open to my my inbox or my email um for the file for the in a verbal verbal attention maybe the first sanction Yes, verbal attention is the first one. Uh, writing attention is the second one. And one day without salary is the, the third step. Wow. And after that, you're fire. fired. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That was interesting. <laughs> All right. So uh, I could listen to some of you, right, uh, talking, but not everybody. Uh, don't worry, Karen. That's a very cute dog. Uh, is 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 it is it a she or a he? It's she. It's a she. Okay, got it. What's her name? She's beautiful. Nairobi. Nairobi. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it sounds familiar, <laughs> Nairobi. Uh -huh, like, exactly. Like in the, like in the La Casa de Papel. <laughs> got it, Nairobi. Okay. I think it's the name of a city, right? In Africa? Yes, Kenya. Kenya, Kenya, right? In Kenya, okay. Yeah, from Kenya, uh-huh. Got it. So um, I would like to hear an opinion or two opinions. Okay, Jackie has his own dog too. Uh, yeah, I guess that working with pets or being in class with pets is complicated. 
Now I don't have so many problems, but at the beginning, yeah, I have one cat and one dog and they were on the table and under the table everywhere. Uh, but now everything's okay. They know that they have to keep their distance. <laughs> so uh, let me check. I would like to hear one or two opinions about what happens when the when an employee doesn't follow the procedures. Um, I think uh, Blanca had a good opinion in uh, Juan Jose, please. Okay, I was tell my group that mm -hmm. if I jump or skip, skip uh -huh. one of the procedures, uh, like I don't, Pull all the information of the of the customers. We we may have problems in the future because I have to I had a file with every customer and that helped me with the I don't know how to say with when I made the invoice when I want to know the price that that we give to the customer and if the information it doesn't pull in the moment that i have the information then it's a chaos chaos i don't know uh -huh, in the future that's yeah. right yeah okay so one step in your procedure depending on the job you have right can affect a lot of other uh results or a lot of other people okay Juan Jose, thank you so much, Blanca. I appreciate it. Okay, my, uh, when I when I work, uh, I was uh, talking to my coworker that um, when some people doesn't um, attend, uh, assist the rule, the procedures, uh, it's a call cut of attention mm -hmm. one time. If continue. Uh, for two, two time, if, if the, the employees continue. Um, and sometimes it is serious, um, uh, I don't remember, falta grave, uh, serious misconduct, I don't remember. Uh, but if the, the, the uh, is serious, the not uh, make the rules or the procedure, Sometimes yeah. the employees are fired. I'm fired when they're serious. Uh, but um, I think that sometimes the people um, um, speak or talk with the with the boss uh, several times. And in my case, I am I am I am, I am boss in where I work and try to. Uh, have a patient, many patients with me, please. Okay. Uh, so that's that's a that's a good point of view because of your position, right? Uh, so you said that it's a, a, a serious misconduct, right? That's what you were saying. And yes. also, uh, I think it was Karen that was saying that yeah, there there's usually a process, right? When you don't follow a procedure in in your in your workplace, you can have different consequences, right? At the beginning, it's just a yes. call of attention, as you were saying, right? It's verbal. Then it's something written. Then uh, yes. your your I mean, you can be affected in your salary. And in some places, if there's an, uh, a third one or a fourth one, goodbye, right? So fire. that's what yes. that's your fire exactly. So um, yeah, uh, you need to take job your job seriously. That's for sure. Now we're going to move on, okay, to the conversation that you saw in the in the uh, on the on the screen. So we have a conversation between Javier, the manager, and Moore, right? So well, uh, manager Moore, and um, so, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt 
and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs a receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. So we're going to try to do that, okay? Uh, yeah, we still have time, okay? We'll do it in the breakout rooms, but in this case, it will be just in purse. So please uh, take a screenshot of the conversation if you don't have the manual uh, handy, right? Uh, maybe on your cell phone or you didn't print it, that's okay. So you can take a screenshot quickly. Uh, it's a new employee at a restaurant and Obviously, you will do the two role plays, right? First as Javier and then as the manager more. And here we go. I'm going to recreate the rooms. So we have 11 breakout rooms. I'm going to be a master of breakout rooms after this. One, two, and three. You can go now and practice the two times. You have three minutes maximum, and then you come back. Accept the invitation to join the breakout room, please. Excellent. Fred is uh, Jennifer, Glenda. Um, I'm going to be your partner. <laughs> I don't know what happened with Brenda. I was working with her. Really? With, yeah. She was connected right now? Um, maybe, I, I don't know, I'm not sure about Let that. Check. No, she's in another room right now. So I created new breakout rooms, that's why. Okay. So I'm going to practice with you. You are... Uh, Javier, or you're, well, you're Anna and I'm the manager, okay. uh, Marcus. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to start. Yeah. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register, or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Now we switch. Sir, okay. I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you get the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it and put in the register or you slide the car through the car reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you get a copy. And you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore or Miss Valencia in this case. Now, okay. uh, the pronunciation of the word through, that's the only observation, through. Through. Okay, through, through. yeah, that's correct, through. Um, and that will be all, right? So do you have any doubts about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? I have a little dude with register. Register, that's the Regist pronunciation, yeah. Another doubt, register? Um, no, that's it. No, slide through, okay, very good. So receipt, you pronounce it really well, okay. Uh, that's a, a, a tricky word. People think that is receipt, but it's just receipt with T. So well done. Okay, let's go back to the okay. session. Wait thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so we're done uh, with the with the conversation. It was very short, as you could see, right? It was just one person having the protagonist, right, on the conversation. That was Mr. Moore. Um, I need two volunteers to practice the conversation. Maybe somebody who couldn't finish the conversation or who couldn't practice for connection or microphone problems. Okay, so we had a uh, root. 
And Diana, after that, we're going to listen to Jennifer with Ana Beatriz. So Diana, you start the conversation and Ruth, you continue. Okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or just light the card through the card reader. Then the re register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signed the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. In this case is Miss. I have a question. Miss Medrano. Miss Medrano. <laughs> Medrano. Uh -huh, Miss. Uh -huh. What is the question, Ruth? I'm not sure with the pronunciation. Er, receive is receipt or receipt. Okay, the pronunciation is receipt with the sound T at the end. Receipt. The receipt. receipt. Yeah, the receipt. Is not sound. No, so, uh, yeah, you don't pronounce the letter P. And uh, oh, register, sure. that's the other word, register. Okay, uh, another question? Yeah, I have one. Okay, Jennifer? You say once the difference between receta and, and recipe. Word. Uh -huh, and receipt, yeah. recibo. Uh -huh. Can you please repeat it? Okay, so the difference. Excellent. That's okay. That's my job. So uh, the the recipe is with food, related to food, right? So the ingredients and the steps that you need to prepare something is a recipe. Uh, and you write it recipe, right? Re recipe. And then the receipt that ha ends with PT, right? And you skip, you don't pronounce the letter P, you only pronounce the letter T, receipt. Okay, is the ticket that you get after you pay for something. Okay, so they give you a receipt. That is like an evidence or a proof that you bought the product or you bought the food or the service or whatever, right? Um, and another one that I wanted to mention uh, also is the pronunciation or the stress of the word process. Yes, you can say, uh, that like process is okay. But if you use it as a verb, it's not process, it's process. So the stress goes at the end, process. I'm going to process this uh, payment, right? So process is the action and process is the noun, okay? So uh, that is the difference, okay? It happens in some verbs, not in all, not in all the verbs, but it happens in many other verbs. So um, another example that we practice, let's say yesterday, I think, is purchase. Purchase is the noun, right? When you say, hey, uh, you got a lot of purchases, right? Yes, I went to Metro Center and I stopped in every store. So I, I, I have a lot of purchases in my bags. But if you're talking about the verb, the stress goes at the end. So you say purchase, right? Uh, I'm going to purchase some things. I'm going to buy something. So you're using the verb as, um, I mean, you're using the word as a verb. So the stress changes, okay, and goes at the end. Um, those are the two ones that come to my mind right now. Uh, if you have any other doubt, let me know. Right now, we're going to listen to Ana Beatriz and Jennifer. So, Ana, you go uh, with the beginning of the conversation, and then we'll listen to Jennifer. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. Okay. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register. Or you just slide the card mm -hmm. register. Or, or you slide. slide the card through the uh, slide the card through the card reader. Then okay. the register prints register. the receipt. Register print the receipt 
and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, okay. Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. That's correct. So, uh, in this case, okay, so the only word that I would say is through, right? The, the pronunciation through, and that's it. So, right now, we're going to move on to the last part of the class as we have just uh, four more minutes to go. Uh, I wanted to mention also there are two words that are similar and probably you have a doubt, right? Like, what is the difference between these two? Uh, so what is the difference between uh, an invoice and a receipt? Because depending on the work that you do, right? If you're working in accounting, for example, I think that uh, Laura is working in that area and she mentioned an invoice, right? Uh, I pay attention to the conversations, you see? So she was mentioning that. Uh, so she has to process the invoice, right? Receive the invoice. And I was like, okay, so she she deals with the word invoice. But for the majority of people, it's a receipt. I mean, they, they know the word receipt, not invoice. So what is the difference? Um, I'm going to literally read to you the definition that I have uh, over here. Uh, there are many differences, right? But the most important distinction is that the purpose of the documents. Invoices or invoice in singular is a request for payment. So uh, for example, in big companies, they get the invoice and they know they have to pay for all these products. Let's suppose that it's a supplier, right? It's a supplier. Like, uh, I don't know, Siman, they, they buy a lot of products, but they don't pay cash. I mean, they are going to pay for the products they buy eventually, right? They have a certain period of time to pay. So they get an invoice, okay, with all the specifications, all the information of the products and what they have to pay. So it's a request for payment, but the receipt is the proof of a payment. So- uh, Receipt is like, like the ticket, when they ask ticker or-, or... I mean, the, uh, the, the receipt is what you get when you paid for something. Mm -hmm. You already paid for that, so you get a receipt. But the invoice is something that you have to pay. So they give you the descriptions and everything, but uh, you don't pay for that at the moment because it's a lot of things, like millions of dollars, right? Or thousands of dollars. Uh, like if you're buying products from China, let's suppose, and you get a shipping, right? That is uh, big. So you don't pay for that cash. I mean, you pay in one month, maybe, or in two months, depending on the negotiation, right? Um, and it's also important to remember that you're legally required to include much more information on an invoice than you are on a receipt. So in the invoice, you have the, the code of the product, you have the, the more specific description, et cetera, et cetera. So it, it's, it's a long document and Laura can, can confirm this. Uh, and the receipt is simpler uh, because it's, you already pay for it, so that's it. You hear the, the description and that's it. You don't have tam that much information, right? Uh, so both are related to payment, but they are different uh, in the use. So the invoice is for something that you have to pay, but it's very detailed. And the, and the receipt is like a ticket that you said, right? That you get after you pay for something. Um, that's the difference, okay? And if you want to read a little bit more about it, I'm going to share the link with you through the chat. Okay, that's, I think that is necessary for you to, um, to understand, right? Because some of you might be related to business or administration, so you know the difference between the two terms. Okay, but for the majority of us, we don't deal with invoice, we deal with our receipts, okay? Because we pay for things and we're not buying. 
large amounts of products. Now, um, quickly, I am going to uh, take the attendance, okay? For, uh, just so you say hello, I'm here, present. And I will start with Freddy's. Let's see if I remember uh, the way that you like to be called. Okay, Freddy's, are you there? Excuse me. Okay. Uh, Blanca? I'm here. Jackie? I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Janari? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Suleyma? I'm here. Ruth? I'm here. Ruth? I'm here. Okay. I mean, there's, there's some. Who's going to be? Who's, who's going to be? be with you in the. At the end of the session. Ah, that's a good question. Today we have Who's gonna be Anna with Beatriz. If we don't have any inconvenience, okay, uh, Beatriz, we go with you, right? No, I don't have any. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So the next one is um, well, Rolando is here. Uh, hello, hello. Hello, Hello Merlin. Yes, I'm here. Merlin, do you prefer Merlin or Lisbeth? Okay, we we'll continue with Karen. I'm here. Juan Jose. I'm here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Harvin, thank you. I am here to Laura. Francisco. Oh, here, please. Floor. I'm here. Diana. I'm here, teacher. Carla. I'm here, teacher. Uh, Brenda. I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Oh. Okay, Mariela. I'm here. Elizabeth. And Beatriz. I'm here. Okay, thank you. I'm here. So, guys, do you have any questions, any doubts uh, about today's session, about the things that we were discussing, about the vocabulary, about pronunciation, about life? No, just kidding. So, um, I cannot say too much about that. <laughs> okay. Um, about about life, I had too many. About life, about love. <laughs> okay. About life. <laughs> about love, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, guys, uh, what we're going to be doing tomorrow, just to give you an anticipation, uh, as you could see in the conversation, they are talking about steps. Okay, that you have to follow in order to do something. Specific vocabulary that we use when we're describing how to do something. So that is really important, right? To organize your ideas, to express uh, your ideas clearly, right? And to focus on procedures. So that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. And um, if you don't have any other doubt, that will be all for today. I will see you Tomorrow. God willing. Tomorrow. Okay. On. Good night. Wednesday. Okay, so night. have a good night, guys. Take care of yourself. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good Ciao, arrivederci. Bye, so Rolando. Well. Bye, Aloha. Bye. Oh my God. Hi, Freddy's. Question. Huh? Can I ask you a quick question? Sure. How do you make a screenshot on the computer when you say can, you could take a screenshot? 
Ah, there's a bottom at the top on the right side, uh, almost at the corner that says PRT, PRT SC. I don't know if you have that bottom. PRT SC. PRT, that is like print screen. No, I don't. Uh, do you see the the bottom in I mean in on the keyboard of the computer? Oh, on the keyboard. Yeah, on the keyboard. At the at the at the top uh, right upper right corner, you yeah. see the bottom that says delete insert, and there's one that says P R P R T S C, print P R T. Oh, so, but there is one that is PRT, that is print, print screen. So there might, you must have it there. So maybe you can send me a, a picture of the keyboard and I can tell you if you have it in another place or with another uh, <clears throat> acronym. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So, Anna, have a good night, Freddy's. Tell me, do you have any doubts, any questions, any comments? Uh, yes, sometimes I had problems when I pronounce some words uh -huh. and I want to improve that. What, what do you recommend me to improve okay. that? Okay, excellent. Well, with pronunciation, it's a little bit complex uh, to give you like a specific tip, right? Because you know that the majority of the, of the times you have to memorize the words. So it's, it's like, okay, you make a list of words, for example, that you want to learn, uh, maybe about your job, maybe about something that you are interested in, uh, like traveling, for example, you want to travel. So you look for vocabulary about traveling and then you investigate the pronunciation of every word and then you start practicing. Uh, what I do and what I told you in one of the sessions is that you write down the, for example, the word that is new for you, let's suppose that in this case was received, right? Um, so you write it down the way it is written and in parentheses or in brackets, you write down the way that you hear the word. Yeah. Not the symbols that are in the dictionary. Uh, but the way that you hear the word, okay? So um, you can, for example, receipt. How do you listen to that word? Receipt, okay. Receipt. R and I at the, at the beginning. Uh, uh, receipt. So uh, if the word is through, right? Okay, through. Uh, so it's like the theta, right? In Spanish to have a yeah. reference. Uh, and then the R and the U through. Uh, so you, you need to start taking notes of the vocabulary that is difficult or the new vocabulary and write down the way that you, that you hear the, the pronunciation. So you study okay. the words, okay? So I would recommend you to make a list of words that you are learning or list of words by categories, for example, words related to banking, for example, financial, loan, credit, uh, allow, well, allowance maybe, uh, withdrawal. So you make a list of words, you look for the, the pronunciation. Uh, the website that I mentioned the last time was Yulish. So that is like a dictionary on YouTube, let's say. Uh, okay. So you can listen to a lot of people pronouncing the words. So maybe one word, one pronunciation is not enough. So you can listen to a lot of different people pronouncing the same word and you can watch the videos. So it can help you to learn something new. Um, then the, the other one is, um, wait a second, I think that, okay. okay. So uh, the other one would be uh, trying to read aloud. So when you read aloud, automatically you discover when you don't know the pronunciation of a word. So in that moment, you probably underline the word or you write it down in your notebook and you can continue reading, right? Maybe a paragraph, let's say, or one page of a book uh, or one article. So you try to read it aloud 
all the words that you don't know or you have doubts about pronunciation, you write them down, or if it is on paper, you underline them. So when you finish reading the page or you re finish reading the paragraph, you look it up, you look, look them up, right? So look for the pronunciation of those words, write it down and repeat the words, okay? A couple of times so that you familiarize and you try to memorize them. And then you can read again, now with the correct pronunciation of the words. So you make sure that you don't forget how to pronounce those new words. So okay. it's a process that will take you some time, right? And you have to do it little by little, but you will definitely improve your, your pronunciation. Something that you need to do to improve your pronunciation besides speaking, right? Reading out loud, making a list of vocabulary, using the dictionaries to listen is to uh, watch things in English. If necessary, as you are trying to see the vocabulary and listen to the pronunciation, you can use subtitles in English. But when you listen to people pronouncing, unconsciously, you are memorizing the way that they say the words. And many times what we do is that we repeat. Like for example, in the let's say there's a phrase in a movie, right? And they say like, I will always love you. I will always love you. So you, and you try to you try to speak like that, right? You try to yeah. say that phrase, or I'll be back. So uh, it can help you a lot to because the way that you hear the words is usually what you remember. So when you pronounce them, you will remember that moment when you listen to that word. So being exposed to listening to native speakers is really important. So you know that they are, I mean, there is 99% of, of pro probability that the pronunciation is correct because it's someone who was born in the country. Okay. So that is the advantage of listening to native speakers that you have the, the confidence that, okay, if it's Barack Obama, so the pronunciation has to be correct. <laughs> but, if, but if you listen to someone for example, I'm a th an English teacher, but let's suppose that is someone who is not a native speaker and is not an English teacher and speaking English and somebody says, uh, this is, a, for example, what word that we studied today? Uh, invoice, right? And instead of invoice, they say invoice. And you're like, okay, invoice. Maybe that's correct. So you have doubts because you are listening to someone who is not uh, from the country where the language is spoken. So you know that this person may, can make mistakes, but in pronunciation, right? In pronunciation, maybe in grammar it's okay, in vocabulary it's okay, but pronunciation not so good. Uh, because, for example, I remember that my one of my English teachers told me, or in the class, he used to say vocabulary and I pronounced vocabulary because I thought that it was correct <laughs> but then there was another teacher that said vocabulary it's like okay so which teacher is correct um, and then I, I learned how to understand the symbols so in that moment I was independent I could check in the dictionary what was correct because I didn't have an online dictionary, I didn't have a website to listen to pronunciation. <laughs> so for me, it was more difficult, but in the present, you can automatically, right? Okay, I have doubts about that. I'm going to look in the dictionary and listen to the pronunciation, right? Okay. So um, that can work, that can help you a lot. Okay, and um, when you learn new words, try to use them, okay? So, um, creating examples, creating conversations, or when you're using, when you're talking to someone, try to include the, the new words that you, that you uh, are learning, right? Um, or you can probably share that with somebody else. Uh, but I know that you don't have that much time, so uh, <laughs> you can do this probably just what I was telling you, right? To be more exposed to, listen to, to listening to native speakers to take notes about the new words mm -hmm. and the way that you listen to them. Not the way that is in the dictionary because you don't, you don't understand the symbols. Okay. Um, and try to practice reading out loud because you're going to discover all the words that you don't know how to pronounce. Maybe you know okay. the meaning, maybe you understand the, the message, 
but you don't know the correct pronunciation. So in that moment, you're going to, okay, new word, new word, new word, new word. And then you will go little by little, right? It's not like you're going to learn 20 words every day. I mean, it's possible, but not recommendable, right? But maybe five words is something that you can do. Okay. okay. Sometimes I have problems when I pronounce some words in past. I have problems uh, because sometimes I can identify the difference between T and D, mm -hmm. especially when I use regular verbs. Yeah. So in that case, regular verbs, I, have... I, I think those are more, those are easier than regulars. Yeah. Yeah, true. In terms of pronunciation, you need to, uh, like the regular verbs in the past, you need to study them. Uh -huh. There are lists on the internet that where you can find the verbs classified by the sound. So it's easier for you to, to practice them, try to memorize them, divide it, right, okay. in categories. Uh -huh. Because if you have them mixed, it's going to be more difficult. But if you classify them, okay, these verbs finish in t, this verse finishing t, and this verse finishing id, it's going to be easier for you to memorize them and remember them later. Yeah, okay. Imagine mm -hmm. if I tell you word get. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's not that's not correct. So yeah, but exactly. sometimes we may I may have mistakes something like that because I don't know how to pronounce or what is the correct pronunciation of the word. That's right, that's right. So that is the uh, what I would suggest, what I would recommend you. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, uh, Beatriz. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank you, good night. My pleasure, bye-bye. It was a pleasure, thank you.